This is Fashion Fridays. Every Friday, we present you with a fashion icon or topic. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about off-white. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome to our latest video about the world's leading and most exclusive fashion brands. The journey that led to the launch of Off-White, one of the world's most successful and elusive streetwear brands, began in the United States back in 1980 with the birth of Virgil Abloh. By 2012, Abloh had established himself in the world of European fashion, having completed an internship and some successful projects. He decided to launch Off-White as an expression of his disruptive approach to the industry as a whole, and streetwear specifically. Today, Off-White is one of the single biggest streetwear brands in only its seventh year of existence. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So, what is it about the Off-White brand that makes it universally appealing and highly sought after? Let's examine the word on the street, Aluxers, about this brand and its founder, with the 15 things you didn't know about Off-White. Number 1. Few people would have predicted Virgil Abloh's climb to international fashion fame and fortune. Virgil Abloh was born to Ghanaian immigrant parents on September 30, 1980. His parents had come to the United States in search of the American dream. Virgil and his sister were born after their arrival in the U.S. The couple had settled in Rockford, Illinois, which is where they raised their children. They worked hard to support their children and ensure they had good education opportunities. After school, Virgil Abloh completed a bachelor's degree in civil engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. He then obtained a master's degree in architecture from the Illinois Institute of Technology. He seemed to have a career in architecture planned. However, Virgil Abloh was destined to find another way to express his artistic talent. Number 2. Virgil Abloh's sheer talent led him to the heart of the European fashion world. When Virgil Abloh started Off-White, it was with the intention to share with the world his vision of streetwear reimagined. It was an unprecedented success. More conventional brands may have been less inclined to take Off-White seriously in the beginning. For too long, streetwear was given the short shrift in the world of fashion design. This line of clothing was regarded as functional and best left to the lower-end designers and retail stores to sell. Abloh would show that streetwear could be combined with premier fashion wear. This hybrid between two seemingly opposing contexts would secure him a place in the market that he is unwilling to give up. Number 3. Virgil Abloh's journey to becoming a fashion sensation was a series of fortunate events. Despite having studied architecture, Virgil Abloh had fallen in love with fashion. He completed an internship in Rome at the designer Fendi, where he made a lifelong friend, Kanye West. He collaborated with Kanye West and Jay-Z on their album Watch the Throne as a creative director of West's agency Donda. Then in 2012, Abloh decided to try his hand at streetwear design. He launched Pyrex Vision. While some people were instant fans, there was some criticism. Abloh bought unused fabric from Ralph Lauren, put the name of his label on it, and sold the clothes made from it for a fortune. This stirred up quite a bit of controversy with other designers. Determined to move forward, Abloh closed Pyrex Vision down and started a new label, which he called Off-White. Number 4. The launch of Off-White was an instant success for Virgil Abloh. As soon as the first off-white range came onto the market, it was a success. Aimed for those looking for unique designs for upmarket streetwear, its items were soon in hot demand. Initially offering only a men's line, the label launched its first women's range in 2014 at Paris Fashion Week. The designer branded his goods with a set of diagonal lines, often incorporated into the fashion piece, as well as the word white featured somewhere on the garment. 
Despite making cross-generational clothing, it was his targeting of the youth market that made Off-White such a runaway success. Number 5. Expect to pay hundreds of dollars to own an Off-White original. On average, off-white hoodies will set the buyer back about $500, and a t-shirt can cost up to $350 and beyond. Ablo has justified the expense of off-white's range by explaining that all of the clothing is produced in Italy. The customs duties and quality fabric prices were also factored into the retail price. Ablo has also stated that he's committed to paying his workers decent wages, which adds to the price of his clothing as well. Ablo recently worked with Nike to deconstruct, restitch, and rework 10 pairs of its most iconic shoes. The sneakers are in great demand due to the limited quantities available. While the retail price of the sneakers was in the region of a few hundred dollars, they're being resold on platforms like eBay for more than 1,000. Number 6. Many critics have panned off-white clothes. Many in the fashion industry have been less than impressed by Virgil Abloh and his off-white collections. He's been labeled a dilettante by some, accused of being more obsessed with the brand than the quality of the clothing. Nevertheless, his products do sell out, and he's entered into a collaboration with well-known brands including Levi's. The designer has continued to defy the conventional boundaries of the fashion industry, preferring to follow his creative instincts and ignoring those who criticize his work. He answers his critics with a business that has shown triple-digit growth. Number 7. Off-White has been accused of copying from other brands. Followers and critics have taken to Instagram to point out how similar Off-White products are to others. Off-white items have been held up next to big labels like Prada, Calvin Klein, Balenciaga, and New Models. The similarities, it's argued, are too close for comfort. The collections often seem to reject the who-did-it-first principle that is a standing convention in the fashion world. Norwegian sportswear label Helly Hansen has sued Off-White over its signature diagonal stripes, which it says allows Off-White clothing to be confused with its own brand. The suit says the problem is exacerbated by Off-White putting its logo in similar places to Helly Hansen. Number 8. Off-White is engaged in several lawsuits of its own. Despite its alleged practices of copying others, Off-White has filed a suit against Brooklyn Lighthouse, which sells children's clothing, saying its designs have been copied. The label accuses Brooklyn Lighthouse of patent infringements including the firm's signature diagonal lines with a pair of intersecting double-sized arrows. The suit further alleges that Brooklyn Lighthouse has printed off-white on many of its clothes, despite not having the necessary authorization to do so. The brand wants $2 million per infringement, as well as legal costs to be paid by Brooklyn Lighthouse. Off-White is also suing more than 160 online retailers operating on Wish.com over the sale of fake products. Number 9. The name Off-White speaks to Abloh's intention when starting the brand. Virgil Abloh has never seen the world of fashion in black and white. He believes that too many people in the fashion industry are only able to see fashion this one way. Off-White represents this desire to show the world that, even in fashion, there is a common ground to be sought. The world of premier fashion can be combined with avant-garde streetwear. This, Ablo believes, is one of the many shades of gray that exist on the spectrum between the two. That's why he chose to call his brand Off-White, since it fits into neither category, preferring instead to draw on both. Number 10. Off-White's founder, Virgil Ablo, is worth in excess of $4 million. Virgil Abloh's presence in the world of fashion goes far beyond Off-White alone. He was appointed the artistic director of Louis Vuitton's ready-to-wear menswear range in 2018. He was the first designer of African descent to achieve this career milestone. His presence is expected to bring the brand more visibility and add some of his famous energy to the range. 
Virgil Abloh wears many hats. In addition to being a designer for Off-White and the artistic director at Louis Vuitton, he DJs under the name Flat White and is one member of the duo Paris, Illinois, with fellow musician Guillaume Berg. Furthermore, he continues to collaborate with Kanye West in his creative endeavors. And a Luxers, if you'd like to find out some more about Virgil Abloh's great friend, you can do just that in our video, The 15 Things You Didn't Know About Kanye West. Click in the top right corner to check it out. Number 11. Off-White is Becoming the Choice of Many Celebrities one of Off-White's new collections will give a cult favorite TV show a second lease on life. The latest collection featured The Simpsons. One of the items is predicted to sell with a t-shirt featuring Bart Simpson, accompanied by the slogan, Public Enemy Number 1. While Off-White is a favorite among a slew of celebrities like Kendall and Kylie Jenner, Bella and Gigi Hadid, Kendrick Lamar and Justin Bieber, his range is collecting a new following. At a recent varsity basketball game between Duke University and the University of North Carolina, both teams' coaches were sporting Off-White and Nike sneakers. Abloh was quick to post pictures of these two unlikely customers on his Instagram account. Number 12. Virgil Abloh is expanding into the furniture business. The off-white designer has been working with Swedish furniture giant IKEA on a new venture. He's designing products which are set for release in 2019. The collection is to be named Markarad. This is a Swedish word that translates to mean clear-cut and crisp. However, this is not the designer's first foray into furniture design. Off-White also had a furniture venture, Gray Area. He favors a minimalist approach and draws on his studies in engineering and architecture to design these furniture ranges. His furniture reflects an urban approach likely to appeal to a younger audience. Number 13. Virgil Abloh's unusual approach has won him critical acclaim in addition to a lot of undue criticism. Today, Off-White has 24 stores internationally. The streetwear is also available in high-end stores such as Barney's, Selfridges, and Harrods. Despite the high price of his clothing, Off-White sales continue to rise. Selfridges alone reported a 100% increase in off-white sales from 2015 to 16. Then in 2017, Abloh was awarded at the British Fashion Awards with the Urban Lux Award. He was named one of 2018's most influential people by time, one of only two designers to make the list. Number 14. Off-white's owner travels an impressive 300,000 plus miles a year. Virgil Abloh married his high school sweetheart, Sharon Sundberg, in 2009. The couple has two children, Lo and Gray. Abloh's wife and children continue to live in Illinois, in a home in Lincoln Park, Chicago. With his finger in so many pies, it's no wonder that Abloh spends a lot of his time traveling. In fact, it's estimated he travels in the region of 350,000 miles each year. He's almost always on the move and says that travel stimulates his creativity. Number 15. Off-White's irreverent approach has cemented its place in the fashion history book. Off-White and its designer Virgil Abloh have used the platform to make statements about the state of society as it stands today. A part of these projects are a range that includes clothing bearing positive slogans about immigrants and immigration, globalization and the integration of cultural identities. Planned Parenthood has also been featured in his apparel after 2017's Women's March on Washington. His use of quotation marks on his clothing implies that nothing is a given and is always subject to interpretation. This, of course, speaks to his creative mind, which questions the status quo. Well, Aluxers, that's a wrap on Off-White. But before you go, we're curious. Will you be adding an Off-White t-shirt paying homage to Bart Simpson or your favorite rebel without a clue to your wardrobe anytime soon? Let us know in the comments. And of course, as a reward for sticking with us all the way to the end, you awesome Aluxers are in for a bonus fact. Number 16. Off-White needed a video to explain how to use one of its accessories. 
buyers were at such a loss as to how to use it, the company had to release a video tutorial to show them. Just another reason why Virgil Abloh and Off-White will secure their rightful place in the fashion industry history books. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.